So I just reached 200 subscribers. Let's start with that. I'm so extremely grateful. I Words can't explain how grateful I am for the 200 people that took their time to press that button and started watching my content. I'm so extremely happy. I think 200 is a lot. If you put 200 people in a, in a room, it's a lot of people. So I'm extremely happy with you guys and you are the ones that give me energy and you are the ones that keep me going. As you know, I didn't create a lot of content uh, the last two weeks. Uh, the reason for that is that I got sick, but the upside from being sick is that it gives you time to think about stuff. And I did think about stuff. The last couple of days, these thoughts keep going through my head and I want to explain this to you guys because it's going to have impact on this YouTube channel. I kept focusing so much on numbers. So I kept focusing on subscriber growth. I kept focusing on boosting my views. I kept focusing on getting more comments. And the thing about this is that it makes you do stuff that you normally wouldn't do. And what I mean by that is I have to go to other YouTube channels, which I don't necessarily think they're good or a lot of channels are good, but some I just don't have a feeling with. And then I have to leave a meaningful comment so that people will notice me and go to my channel and start subscribing. This is a very general method to gain subscribers and almost every starting YouTuber is doing it. And what I realized is that people started to find my channel and they started posting random comments and then in return want me to visit their page. And what I saw here is that it, the whole social media world is so extremely fake in my opinion and it started to mess with my head everything is so extremely fake people are just browsing videos click on them are not even viewing the video and then start to comment because they want to promote their own channel it's so extremely fake and besides that if i look to my competitors in the making money online world or start a business world they all show videos of their bank accounts which say I just earned 10,000 bucks this month. But what you don't see, and then I'm talking about fake again, what you don't see is that this person maybe has two salespersons running around getting orders for them, which costs like 5,000. Maybe he spends 1,000 or 2,000 advertising costs to get clients maybe he's traveling a lot he needs a car which costs like 500 maybe he needs software tools and management tools that cost a lot a month as well and at the bottom line you'll get like 1000 or 2000 a month which is lower than the average wage but people start subscribing to this person because they think he actually makes 10,000 and that's what i mean and it's i have a lot of other examples but the YouTube world and the social media world in general is so extremely fake and it's starting to piss me off. And what pisses me off the most is that I focus on numbers and in order to get those numbers, you have to do what the others also do, which is being fake. And it just messes so much with my head and it's just not how I want to do stuff. So from now on, I want to stop focusing on numbers. I don't care if I only get 100 subscribers in a year. That's 100 people who actually enjoy my content from what I am and like seeing me. And that's more worth to me than a stupid high number as 1000 or 2000. So from now on, I'm only gonna start creating what I want and what makes me happy and what helps my subscribers the most. And I'm not going to create content that gets me the most views or numbers because it just messes too much with me and it's just not the person I am and I don't want to do that. So that just got really real for this, but I had to communicate this because things have to be different. And I still want to provide value for you guys. So what can you guys get out of this when you're starting YouTube and I start to realize why people give up now it's because of this stupid fakeness and that you have to do stuff which you don't really want to do so it really makes you depressed and I understand completely that people are giving up and start doing normal stuff which aren't fake so my advice to you never stop being yourself never do stuff you don't actually want to do in order to grow your numbers don't focus on the numbers 
focus on the people that actually care about you. And I have 200 people who actually care about me and I'm going to focus on you guys. I love you guys equally so much and I'm going to provide value for you guys and I want to help you guys. And when saying that, there's also been some changes in my life. As I said in the video before, I started working on social media management for one client. But what I realized is that I'm really in baby shoes with social media. I mean, look at my page, look at everything. I have almost no followers. So who am I to tell businesses and companies or tell you how to do social media? Because I suck at it. So that started playing with my head as well. So what I did is I browsed the internet and I found a startup and I approached them and I actually managed to get a job as marketing manager. I'm going to be the only commercial person in the startup who is going to build a complete marketing department and it's my job to do that. I'm going to be responsible for the whole commerce of that startup and I'm going to build a team, I'm going to get clients and it could be really valuable for you guys to learn what I learn from the journey because it's going to be the first time that I'm going to be a manager within a company. So I'm managing the marketing, which is a huge challenge. And I think you guys can learn a lot from that. And besides that, you might have a question, which is, okay, but what happened to your freedom and not want to be in employment from someone or a business and not doing what you love? Well, the thing is, Doing marketing is what I love. So, and being able to manage the whole marketing of a new startup really makes me happy. It's really what I want to do. And besides that, there's also a strategy behind it because I realized in order to get followers, you need to put a lot of time in this being fake. But you can also get followers by smashing a lot of money in ads and that kind of stuff. So I thought if I make a lot of money while working as a marketing manager, I can still live cheap and spend all the money I earn on promoting this channel. So I think money is more worth than the time I had to spend in getting what that money would give me. Do you understand? So I think it's a really good choice and we'll see in the end, but I'm learning a lot as a marketing manager and I'm going to teach this with you guys. And I'm also going to teach you what I learned from doing this channel, but I'm not going to copy content from others anymore. I'm not going to talk about stuff which I'm not a guru in. So growing on YouTube, I mean, I'm not a master in growing at YouTube, so I'm not going to teach you guys how to do that. But marketing, I nailed a marketing management job on 26 years old that's what I know how to do and that's what I'm going to teach you guys. So that's it for this one. I want to thank you guys so much, all 200 of you, for, for spending time watching this channel. It just really warms my heart. And I'm, I'm very thrilled to build this community further. Let it be one person a month or 10 persons a month. I don't care. We want to build this small community and I hope you guys stay with me even though I going to start communicating other stuff but it's gonna be 100% me and that's what I feel good about and hopefully you guys subscribe to me because you like me as well and not only the the information I give and if that's so we're gonna have really much fun and I can't wait so thank you guys so much for watching this if you made it to the end of this video well thank you because it's not a really happy video so thank you guys so much I will see you guys in the next video and I'll probably start talking about the marketing management job and how you can learn how to do marketing in general. See you guys in the next video.